but not you saying, you know, I think you said about you coming as a defender. There's a lot of guys who came in like as a defender, you know, like Kawhi, uh, Jimmy Butler, mm-hmm. you know, uh, obviously you. Mm-hmm. What, do you. What do you think you've done that kind of said, hey, Um, um, I mean, to honestly, me, offensively, yeah. <laughs> you're one of those guys you can't stay in front of. It. Yeah. You know, to my, like, yeah. you, you can't be guarded one-on-one. Um, I make this joke all the time with some of my friends. Like, I don't know when it happens. Like, I, 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 give, I give Quinn Snyder and Johnny Bryant, like, a lot of credit in my development offensively. Um, and Lamar Skeeter, too. Those are my three, three, co- three my coaches in Utah. Mm-hmm. Um, like the minute I got drafted, um, we were in the gym working on finishes and pivots, like, like pivots, bro. Like literally everything finishes two foot, one foot. Cause I was a two foot, I'm a two foot jumper. Yes. So everything was two feet, tell, you know, I, in the league. You like, know, the first time I saw you, I don't want to interrupt you. The first time I saw you was, uh, had to be like a, not all American or I don't know how you guys call it here. It was like a, op- well, it was open, yeah. but it was open. So man, you was just like two feet, everything. Ooh. That's it. And I was like, oh my god, this kid, this guy's right. incredible. Like, that's all I had. Yeah. I didn't have nothing else. So now you know throughout the league, being able to finish on one foot, you get your euro steps, you get your different finishes and whatnot. So you go from that and you just start building this like a little building block. And opportunity was there too. You know, Gordon Hayward left, and you know the mm-hmm. stuff. The one thing about me, like if you teach me something, you can teach me something right now. And I promise you, I'd try it. I mean, like, if we played out of my, I would try it. Just off the strength of, like, that's just how my mind, like, works. You that's know dope. what I'm saying? So, um, like, that was just something that, you know, helped, you know, in my development and started to do it more and more and more. Um, but I give those three, I appreciate the opportunity, but also the, the the time that it took to help me develop. And then, you know, as far as the shooting ability and all that stuff, I always had it, but you just got to be able to be taught it. You know what I mean? And then next thing you know, once you can hit shots off the dribble, though, You know, it's it changes. It's a coverage it, it, it does, uh, it it does uh, a give you down a dimension to your game, especially if you was one of the guys who are in between and you're not the uh, uh, the the victors or the Yannis's or the you know like those kind of guys seven, or the seven five. Yeah, 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 that you just it doesn't matter. Like all of this other stuff is just bonus if you can just do that. But those like it does add another dimension to your game. Did you did you think uh did you add a weights to it or is always been natural or is always um, been I always been I mean I started lifting for real when I got to the league. I okay. didn't really lift. I lifted in college, but I didn't take it seriously. Yeah. Um and I give all of my teammates in my my earlier years in my career uh I give them credit too because they taught me like the importance of it. Like they Utah taught me a lot, but like when you hear it from the vets, you hear it from the Joe Johnsons Uh, Epe Udo, Joe you hear Johnson. from. Oh my God. Uh, I yeah. this, this. Yeah, Joe Johnson was there, my rookie, Derek Favors. Like, those were the guys I came in and watched Joe Ingles um, shoot uh, Rudy. Joe. Rudy was like, at first when I got there, I'm like, what the hell is he doing? But like, I get it. Like, you know, the, the point where he's taking care of his body, like that, that shit, like, takes off. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, and it helps you, it helps you, you know, not just like people think, oh, it's just basketball work, it's all court work. Now you got to get your core right. You got to get your body right. Make sure you're able to sustain all the stuff you work on. So um, I didn't really start taking it seriously until I got to the league. Uh, but as far as the strength and all that, it always been natural. You know what I mean? But then when you add weights to it, you know, that's when you become more explosive, more dynamic and, you know, faster and all those different things. Oh, man. A hundred percent. I just say this, you know, as an athlete, yeah, but it's always, always been, you know, good athlete. You know, just is in the genes and the family and stuff like that. But just they don't tell you Like, what do we do? Like, you know, I've had friends who don't play basketball, right? And they would tell me like, oh, I got to quit smoking. Oh, I got to keep quit drinking. And I would tell them like, yo, I got to quit sugar. And they would look at me like, yeah. oh my God, you had another. Well, yeah. Damn, <laughs> people don't understand that diet. That yeah. That diet is crazy. So they would, they would look at us and go like, oh my God, you guys are in another stratosphere saying like, oh, you want to quit, like, quit sugar when I'm trying to quit like yeah. smoking or drinking or going yeah. out, whatever the case might be. But, okay, what is what do you think is did you have a year that you said you know that oh this this is it like i'm here now is it, is it is, did you have one of those years like if, i'll give you an example for Giannis, i would say it was his fourth year mm-hmm. you know it was his it was his, the year that um uh, that he was kind of in between people and was like oh okay we're gonna let him mm-hmm. play but they was like oh sure if we let him play this guy is gonna mm-hmm. average and then the next year it became okay 
okay, we can't let this guy play. And then right. Father Molly ways how to defend him. But it's, I think it's fourth to fifth, if I'm not yeah, mistaken, something like that. For me, everybody else realized it before I did. Like, the organization realized it. it usually it's like that. Saying? So, like, they saw it right away. They just didn't, it was a matter of when. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I saw it, I didn't believe it. Until my second year, like even after the his, like the playoff run, the rookie of the year battle, the dunk contest, the all those the rookie of the months, like all those different things, like it was like I was living in two K, like you know my play, <laughs> like it was like I get drafted and I'm thrown into the starting lineup. I didn't expect to even be starting. Now I'm playing a lot. Now um. Averaging twenty five, well deserved, like twenty, like whatever it was, I was averaging at the time. I mean, my percentages wasn't that great, but like mm -hmm. you know, I was still doing things that, as a rookie, you know what I mean, you just don't do. Like you know what I'm saying, and I think this comes with this respect as well, you yeah. know. And that was for me, like I was just like, man, I'm riding this wave, like I'm fresh out of college, I'm, I'm riding a high right now. You know what I'm saying? We get to the playoffs and we beat Russ and PG and them and Melo. I'm still riding this high. Like, even when we lose the second round, it's like, this is what this is what life is like, I guess. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you don't realize how significant, you know, those moments are. And then I finally realized, okay, like, I'm really in the NBA and I'm really like one of them dudes when I started getting game plan differently. Like, my first year, the scout reporters, I can't shoot. Some people are going under. So now I'm getting 40s. Now I'm shooting like five. I'm getting four threes in the game, five threes in the game, six threes. Yeah. Now, now the guys, like I remember we played Golden State. I remember we played them at the beginning of the year and Clay would always go under. Now Clay's bullying me over. Like he's he's fighting me over the screen. It's like, now he's funneling me down to, to, to Loon and, and Dre and all them. And it's like, hmm, all right. Like you got to figure that out. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And like, that was something that I, it hit me. It was like smart was that Marcus Smart was doing that. Drew Holiday, like there was, and that was when he was with the Pelicans. And now he's funneling me down to AD, which before it was like, all right, let me gap it, get to this reach. I'm like, I bet you gap it. I'm going to go ahead and shoot it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that was when I finally realized like, oh, shit. And I started struggling with it too. Cause I was like, oh, this isn't, this isn't as easy as I like. It's just like, yeah, I thought got, it you, was. Got, you go through like, you go, you got to go through fire. So sometimes. I didn't hit my rookie wall to my second year. That's when oh. I was like, oh, shoot. Like, all right, this is. This is it. And I realized that's a respect level, though. Like, yeah. I mean, the coverage change, like, you're changing the cover, how people guard you. So, like, that's a respect level. And that's when I was like, all right, this is real. You know what I'm saying? Then I had a terrible playoff series against the Houston Rockets. And my mindset flipped that year. Um, and after that, I hadn't missed an All-Star game. Uh, after that, you know what I mean? It just continued to elevate year by year.